Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this OnePlus Nord 2 smartphone. And guys, uh, this is the retail uh, unit that I had purchased from Amazon and uh, this is priced at about 30,000, the variant that I've got. Uh, it comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 128 gigabytes of storage. There's also one more variant that's for 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. I'll leave the links in the description, guys. And uh, uh, regarding 5G, again, this is a 5G smartphone and i'm really happy that oneplus is now giving six bands of 5g for the variant sold in india and this is a huge improvement and i would say a win for consumers like us because if you recall even the flagship oneplus 9r that was for about 65000 just had two bands of 5g the oneplus 9 uh, R that was for 40 just had one band of 5G and I always said uh, that was not, not fair for us as consumers and now I'm happy that uh, with the Nord they are giving at least six bands of 5G so that's actually a nice move so let's open this up and uh, I'll leave the links of Amazon in the description guys so here it is here is the phone itself and uh, wow out for this gray color because this is supposed to be actually uh, as you can see uh, matte finish and I'm really happy about the color on this one I thought it would be very dark something like this but it's not dark at all I would call this one actually light gray guys so looks actually nice and this is matte so it's actually resisting fingerprints it's actually glass guys Gorilla Glass uh, 5 on the back as well as on the front uh, but this frame that we have is actually uh, made up of uh, plastic anyways let's move and uh, I'll just keep this to the side uh, so you get this and uh, we also have a case and some paperwork and stuff in this one you will have the sim ejector tool uh, some pamphlet and stuff membership card some not stickers also so I'll just keep these things to the side for now and uh, this is a unique case it has this pattern as you can see in a cutout for camera so i'll just keep that one also to the side and uh, here if you look at it uh, we have that 65 watt charger that's the wrap charger that you're getting inside the box so happy about that and you get the charging cable uh, but no 3.5 mm uh, headphone dongle or anything because this one also does not have a headphone jack they should have actually given that anyways that's what we get i'll just keep that to the side and here is the handset itself and uh, again the back is resisting the fingerprints so actually from the back uh, this one feels a little bit premium i would say anyways uh, top we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone uh, we finally get back the alert slider which was missing on the oneplus nord ce and i was not happy about it glad they brought it back and here we have the power button uh, bottom uh, will be the speaker again this one also has stereo speakers uh, type c port uh, your main microphone and your sim tray again it's just dual sim nano guys no um, uh, what do you say micro sd card slot and here is the volume rocker back if you move we have a triple camera setup the main camera is a 50 megapixel and this is supposed to have optical image stabilization so i'll add some samples later on and then we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide and then we have the thing that we love that is the two megapixel camera this one is uh, supposed to be a monochrome one uh, and front is 32 so let me do one thing let me actually power this on guys and let me actually set this up and then we will continue so guys i uh, have set up the device so let's have a closer look at the same now and uh, as you can see guys uh, this one have is having an amoled uh, screen uh, uh, but for some reason uh, it's maximum capped at 90 hertz not 120 hertz like some of the other smartphones in this price range that is having the same processor for example the realme x7 or even the new poco f3 uh, though they have the same dimensity 1200 soc they are at 120 hertz this is at 90 hertz that i have uh, no test and uh, guys here are the specs for your reference uh, again uh, the general specs are pretty good the diamond city 1200 uh, but one interesting uh, thing to note is that uh, this one uh, oneplus a is the diamond city 1200 ai processor so i was actually very curious to know uh, what is the difference from a regular diamond city 1200 for example i also have this uh, this is what this is the realme x7 that came with the diamond city 1200 soc this was one of the first one to come with diamond city 1200 so what i did is i ran antutu on both these uh, smartphones to gauge the difference is there any difference so let's just uh, let me actually show you uh, and this is very strange guys this is the oneplus 
as you can see the oneplus nord 2 and this is getting a significantly less score as you can see uh, 6 lakhs uh, uh, 1115 so around 6 lakhs 1000 but this one is getting a score of 7 lakhs 13,000 that's significantly higher and if you notice here also in the CPU uh, this got 1 lakh 65 this got 1 lakh 82 and even the GPU there's a huge difference 1 lakh 98 and 2 lakh 43,000 so I feel uh, in raw performance uh, the Nord uh, to with uh, what they have done with this processor I don't know but it's simply not as fast as the realme x7 uh, max uh, so that's something I've noticed uh, uh, but in hand feel it's good uh, this one also has the in display fingerprint scanner and that's fast that's not a problem you can also enable uh, what do you say always on display on this smartphone uh, so as you can see uh, no issues with that and again uh, there are some hints of color os even on this one now we know that the merger of uh, what do you say oneplus and uh, oppo color os and i'm noticing one uh, thing uh, one or two things that i wanted to show you here in the search app good thing is that still no bloatware or anything this uh, uh, adroid and antutu have installed apart from that these are the specific apps that were so no major bloatware or something netflix was pre-installed but i won't call it a super bloatware or something so nice to see still it's uh, clean uh, yes there are some oneplus uh, apps uh, but you can actually even uninstall that so that's nice cloud service can we uninstall no cloud service we cannot uninstall but other stuff as you can see uh, those were removable on this one so again mostly clean layout i would say that you're getting but one thing that i did not like is that if you notice this is the app tray and this is the search app this is we use this thing commonly and if i tap on this I have to agree to privacy terms and conditions. So this is something that I do not like. And here it clearly says that it sends data to Shenzhen that is in China. So I don't like these things. OnePlus never used to actually force us for stuff like this. But now it's actually doing that. And I noticed this one even when I was invoking the camera. For example, if I invoke the camera, again, as you can see, you have to agree to terms and conditions. Again, if you read this, uh, this is actually sending uh, data to China. But fortunately, don't hit this when you get this phone. Just hit this exit and now actually turn on uh, phone permissions uh, i'm just going to get exit i don't know why so i have to agree to that deny oops uh, so yeah again so this is something that i'm noticing earlier for uh, oneplus phones never used to actually force us to do all this so i have to now give uh, camera permissions okay storage all files i don't know why phone permissions the camera wants it so <laughs> the camera wants the phone permissions. these are some of the new things that i have noticed on uh, this and this has happened after this merger so again little bit very i am about it still i like the fact that there's no bloatware or anything and uh, i also noticed the slight changes here in the ui layout over here and in fact the camera app now we can open it is very close to the realme smartphone in fact if i open the camera on this one <laughs> it's almost exactly the same as you can see so yeah uh, now we are seeing that uh, influence of what do you say oppo even on these oneplus uh, device as uh, uh, but I'm still glad you have this alert slider and the friction on this is actually good I would say they have done a good job here I don't have a problem uh, so but again a little bit wary about these uh, some of the privacy things uh, that never used to uh, get prompted earlier but now you're getting a way more prompts anyways uh, uh, if we go under the hood again uh, I like that uh, let's just go to the dark mode because it's having an AMOLED screen also it has that uh, NFC and uh, let's just yeah looks a lot cooler and if you go to about the device as you can see uh, it comes out of the box with Android 11 uh, and in terms of Android updates I don't think so you will have a problem uh, but this is what we are uh, getting and this is the 8 gigabyte uh, RAM variant that comes with 128 gigabytes of storage as I've told you but I'm just worried what did they do with this Diamond City 1200 why is it benchmarking quite a bit less compared to even the Realme X7 Max that is something you guys need to know uh, regarding another thing as Netflix was preloaded i also tested this let me actually show you 
uh, if I go over here uh, regarding HDR uh, if you go to the app settings and if I go to playback settings wide one L1 support is there but HDR capabilities it says is none so that is also something you have to uh, note uh, but as of now in general UI uh, I don't have an issue as you can see left we have the Google pane itself over here and uh, again OnePlus launcher and all those things is also there so th that way still it is clean ui that you are getting and as of now uh, again because of the processor though yes it's slightly i feel underclocked i don't know why compared to the x7 max still i did not uh, notice any lagginess as of now but again guys this is very initial impressions just unboxed it and played around with for about half an hour so that's what i've noticed and now let's also look at the camera on this one this is supposed to have a 50 megapixel main camera with ois so i'm expecting huge improvement compared to prior not series uh, let's see so a camera interface as I've told you this is feels like a real me device or Oppo device so you have that ultra wide this and uh, 2x and even 5x zoom is there I would say don't go above 2x and if I go towards the mode again we have the dual video mode also on this one ultra resolution means uh, it's going to use the full one and movie mode obviously and if I go over here portrait and all this thing standard stuff and the front facing is supposed to be 32 megapixel on this one so as you can see and we also have the portrait mode so let me do one thing let me actually take some sample shots with this one so that you have a better idea regarding the camera so here are some of the samples this is a regular shot this was wide angle lens this is 2x zoom and this was 5x zoom to give you an idea this is again 1x regular shot and this is with 5x zoom now I took some samples in artificial lighting and here I have to say it impressed me and uh, this was a regular shot in my kitchen and this was with the wide angle lens now I closed all the lights in the office to simulate how it does in low lighting and this was with the night mode and night mode makes a difference again one more example regular shot and this was with the night mode and this is how when i switch one light in the office now moving to human subject this was the regular shot and this was in the portrait bokeh mode and i have to say the camera performance has improved by leaps and bounds even if you look at the front facing camera the front facing camera performance is actually really good so in terms of camera definitely it's doing a good job quick video sample with the front facing camera this is slightly indoors but i'm just going to move outdoors to give you an idea and as you can see this is in outdoor conditions so, hey guys this is just an unboxing kind of a video so i will be posting uh, content a lot more so if you have any specific questions about this device do let me know in the comment section below and guys don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel so guys, uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this OnePlus Nord 2. So what do you guys think about this uh, device? I would say uh, in terms of positive, the in-hand feel is actually really good. It does feel premium and particularly in this matte uh, uh, glass, it's resisting the fingerprint. So that way I like it uh, and it does feel actually premium in the hand. Uh, and uh, But again, I'm a little bit wary about some of the privacy settings and the questions that it is asking now for even a OnePlus device that uh, never used to happen earlier. And also, uh, I will have to test it a little bit more uh, because of the benchmark score difference that uh, we have seen. How does it behave when you stress the phone, do heavy gaming or do uh, heavy uh, video playback and stuff. So again, stay tuned for that. Uh, and guys, if you are purchasing this device, I'll leave the Amazon link. Use that. It does help the channel. Anyways, guys, uh, that's it for now. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.